Okay, so this is kind of what the layout of my computer looks like when I'm going through these horses. Um, right here I have uh, the videos of the Mustangs um, pulled up on the left side of my split screen and then on the right side of my split screen I have my spreadsheet, um, which is not finished, but I'll take you through what that looks like. Basically, um, I went through and put in the lot number, put in all the tag numbers, and then put in the gender of all the horses. So G stands for gelding, whereas M stands for mare. And um, I went through all the mares already because um, I like mares better. So I'm hoping to end up with a mare. Um, I just like tend to get along with them better. I like the try that they give you. Um, I've always seemed to connect with mares better. Um, so I went through and for all the mares I put their age, their herd management area, that's where they were rounded up from uh, when they were wild, and then the color, um, and then a guess of the height. It's hard to tell but they'll have the horses, let me take this one so they go back to the beginning, they have the horses standing up against the height wall so you can kind of guess that this horse is maybe a little over 14 hands, but it's hard to tell because they're moving and the camera angle isn't always level. Um, and then I have a column for whether I bid on them, so that's yes, no, or maybe, and then just any notes on what I thought of the horse. Um, sometimes I just like write that I didn't really prefer that horse and sometimes I have more um, in-depth comments. Um, the black lines here are horses that um, were removed from the auction um, for whatever reason. Maybe they got sick or maybe they had an injury or whatever, but they're no longer available. Um, so I'm going to start, you know, going through, I started going through the geldings again up here. Um, and then I didn't want to put in all their information because that takes a while. So I've just started doing yes, no, maybes for the geldings, um, mostly based on first impression. Cause like I said, um, ideal scenario, I'm going to get a mare, but I want to look at the geldings so I can look at all my options. So, uh, tree four, I've already written something for this horse. No, I haven't. Um, he doesn't really impress me, so I'm going to put no. Um, I'm being a lot less critical of the geldings because I'm really only going to get a gelding if it really wows me. Um, so this is just first impressions, what I think of this horse is. Um, he looks stocky. His back looks kind of long and weak. Um, I'm not impressed. I'm just going to put no. Um, and then move on. This is what I've been doing. Going back through the gellings. And then I'll take you through some of the mares. I'm just going to finish this column right here. I like this one's color a lot. I like dark grays. Um... I like that he wasn't too nervous about that person trying to shoot him away. He kind of thought about it before he ran off. But, you know, I'm just not, he doesn't wow me, so I'm just going to put no. Oh, I also um, catch that. What, what did he do here? Mostly I'm looking for soundness issues. Um, yeah, I don't like that, <laughs> but uh, moving on, mostly I'm looking for whether they're going to be sound, whether they're going to hold up to um, the stress of training. Oh, this is a big guy. It's hard to tell. This camera angle is bad. It looks like it's from below the withers. Oh, I didn't like him as much as I thought I would. He kind of has a short neck. Um, yeah, I don't like that he ran straight at that panel. 
Um, his chart looked weird in the high end. I'm just gonna say, yeah, I don't, I don't like what's going on here. I'm gonna say no. Um, but soundness issues is the number one thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for a horse that can use its body well and that's built to use its body well. Um, I'm also looking at their age. So a three-year-old, I probably wouldn't want as much as, say, a five- or six-year-old, um, just because they're young. They might not be able to hold up to the physical strain of competition and training for the competition, but um, I wouldn't rule out a three-year-old just because it's three. The overall impression of this guy, I'm not, not a huge fan, so I already looked at 29. Let's look at him again. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. He was kind of cute. I thought he was cute at first. But, you know, I like how he's nicely trotting, kind of calm, not super frantic. That's another thing I look for. Um, but I did not like what was going on in his head, neck, and shoulders. Just wasn't a fan of the way that all tied together. Um, his neck looked short. Um, yeah, doesn't look like he has great top line either, so that's why I put no probably. Uh, last gelding, and then I'll go through some of the mares and some of the geldings I did like, because believe it or not, there were some geldings I did like. Um, first impression, he looks kind of frantic. Um, which I've, I've been on horses and I've got horses that ran around like this and they were pretty flighty from day one, but you know, nothing I couldn't handle, but you know, for a makeover horse, I'm just going to put no pain, but for a makeover horse, you kind of want one that's ready to be trained from day one, just cause you're able to maximize your time that way. All right, let's go back to, um, the first lot of geldings. Number three was one I really liked, but I know I won't be bidding on him just because he's so early. If I bid on him and I got him, like I wouldn't be able to get any of the mares I wanted. But if by some chance, and I know he won't end up going to the pool, if none of them get bids, they'll go to the pool. Um, or if one gets no bids, it'll go to the pool. And anyone can call and ask about that horse, and if it's still available, you get it for the minimum bid. But I already know several people who are interested in this gelding. So I just put yes because I like him. <laughs> he's tall. He's a tank. He's got really good bone. Um, he's not super concerned with that person shooing him away. Um, he looks like he'd be a smooth ride. I like the way his neck ties in too. Um, anyways, that's why I put yes on him. Let's go back down to a maybe. Nine. I don't remember this horse. Fourteen-ish hands, Green Mountain, Wyoming. Wyoming Mustangs are kind of known for being more chill. Oh, I don't like that slip. I mean, the footing's not the greatest, but you know, you you definitely don't want one that's stumbling around all the time, because that can point to soundness issues or confirmation issues, or just overall clumsiness. Oh uh, yeah, he doesn't really wow me. I'm gonna put him back to say no. <laughs> Um, okay, let's look at some of the mares. Oh, I like this one. The only issue is she's really small. So that's another thing I have to take into consideration is, well, I'm not the heaviest rider out there. I'm, I'm short also. I wouldn't look too unusual on a horse that's, how tall is she? Oh, she might be 14 hands. But she's petite. Now that I look at her, she kind of has a long back for her frame. Um, but I just thought she was super cute. I wrote small, feisty bee. <laughs> Some of my comments are really dumb, so. But I thought she was cute. She probably wouldn't be one I'm bidding on, because like I said, if I got the bid on her, I wouldn't be able to get some of my favorites. Oh, this is one I did really like. 
20. So this is one of my backups. If I don't get any of my favorites and she's still in the pool, I'm definitely going to go back and pull this one out of the pool. I love her face. She doesn't look too nervous to be in the shoot. She's over 14 hands. Um, you know, she's not super petite. She's not very stocky, but she's not super petite. Um, just overall looks really balanced. You know, not the greatest confirmation I've seen out of these horses. But just overall, and she has moments where she freaks out, but she also has moments where she's trotting real nice and slow and kind of is taking in her surroundings. I just thought overall she was a very balanced package. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, I thought this one was kind of cute. 32. Um... So she's three years old. That's probably one of the reasons I just put maybe on her. Um, and then the other reason is her color will probably attract bidders. I thought her color was super cute. But what I liked about her, um, let me think. I liked her top line. I like the way her neck ties into her head. She just looks very level. Overall, I like this little cute trot. Um, what did I write for her? Cute little mover, not super scared. But she does look young. So that's probably one of the reasons I put maybe. Um, oh, 40. I think I remember 40. So again, none of these are going to be ones that I bid on right off the bat. They're going to be ones that I'll look to go back for if they end up in the pool. Um, so over 14 hands, that's kind of what I'm looking for, ideally. Five years old, that's a great age. Um, I don't know. I don't remember what made this one stand out to me. She's not super frantic. I think it was probably her head right here. She looks like she has a really kind eye. Um, we'll move on. Another maybe. Oh, I like this one because it reminded me of a horse named Echo I trained once. 56. So she's from Rock Creek Herd Management Area, which is where Echo was from. I like that she was close to 15 hands. Echo was about 15 hands, and Echo was also black. So that's kind of what made this one stand out to me um, at first. But what I liked about her is she's kind of walking around, looking around, taking in her surroundings instead of freaking out. Um... I put a fat little echo. She's really not that little, but I don't know. Now that I'm looking back at it, I don't like the way she carries her head with her nose way up in the air. But she might be one I'd consider if all of my other maybes didn't work out. Um, 59. So triple B, I wrote that in my notes as just BBB, because why not? Um, oh yeah, I thought this one was super cute. Um, this little relaxed trot I really liked. Only thing is she's small. I don't know why I put 13-1. She looks more like 13-3. But um, mostly I'm looking at how balanced they are. They're uh, hip to shoulder. Um, ratio, their back, um, head and neck.
you know, I probably wouldn't get this one unless all my other options were um, taken, though. Oh, 60 is a cute one. Let's see. Let's go next lot. It's right after this one. I like this one, but for one, the color is going to attract other bidders, and I don't have a ton of money to spend. About 14 hands. The other thing was she just looks very petite to me. Um, I definitely think she looks younger than five years old. To me, if I were just given this video and asked to guess her age, I'd think she looked too. Um, just because she hasn't really filled out. Um, and she's just so petite. And she looks a bit awkward, but her color is so cute. Um, I probably wouldn't get this one, though. All right, now we've gotten to my absolute favorite. I don't know what made this one stand out to me. Looking back at the videos, she does have some things that I said I wouldn't want. She's three years old. Um, she's maybe 14 hands, but she's probably more like 13, three. But what really stood out to me was just, let me pause this. Oh. What stood out to me was her head and neck, how that ties in is just so, so gorgeous, and I couldn't stop thinking about how gorgeous she'd be under saddle. Um, I think she'd be a nice dressage prospect. Um, I like her top line. Let me keep moving. I like the movement she has in her trot. Oh, I really like this. She does a little sliding stop here. And I just could not stop thinking about how gorgeous she would be under saddle. But she's a little more petite than I'm looking for, or than I said I was looking for. But she's going to be the first one that I'm actually going to put a bid on and see if I can get. I just cannot stop thinking about how gorgeous she's going to be under saddle. Um, and hopefully with good food and exercise, she'd beef up some. Um she does look a little bit more petite than I'm looking for. Uh, moving on, these two are ones I'd bid on right off the bat if I didn't get um, 71, lot 71. I like Adobe Town is a good herd management area. They're supposed to be very chill and very um, ready to learn. Um, you know, now that I'm looking at this one, I don't like her top line. So that's why she's a maybe. Uh, lot 80 is also from Adobe Town. Um, get the color there. This one stood out to me. This was in this horse was in the first round of makeover horses that they um, put up for people to see. So um, they uploaded them in chunks with large gaps in between. So she was in the first lot, and she was the only one that really caught my eye in the first lot. Um, I like that she's kind of stout. Um, she's calm. She's got a steady trot. Um, I like how straight those hind legs are. Overall, she seems like she'd be a good one to bid on. I'm going to move ahead. This is another one of my favorites. This one's actually a gelding. Um, But he's flashy, so he's probably going to be one that attracts more bidders that will go out of my price range. Um, I like that he's tall. I like that he's stout. Um, I like his hind legs look straight. Um, I like that he's kind of got his head low to the ground here. Oh, I don't know. He just looks like he'd be so gorgeous under saddle. He's so beefy. All right, um, 
and I'll drop the link to this in the um, the description so that y'all can take a look at these for yourself if you want. 152. Oh, this is my second favorite mare. She's from Maverick Medicine, Nevada. Um, they say bay. I think she's black. She's four years old, which is good age. And just right off the bat, I just love everything about how she's put together. She's not as petite as my favorite one. She's got a little more muscle and bone to her. Um, I love the curve of her neck here. I love the hip to shoulder ratio you see. I love her back to undercarriage ratio. Um, she just looks so stunning to me. The only thing is, you're going to see this right here, she runs straight into that panel. Um, but she comes back, she looks like she's thinking about doing it again, and then she stops and she realizes that's a solid barrier. So I'll show you all another one that I would not bid on. Um, but I just love everything about the way this mare is put together. Um, the, I'm hoping that her running at the panel would scare off other bidders. It doesn't really scare off me because I have solid fencing. And I've worked with horses that um, have tendencies to get away for me before. So I... The, just it doesn't scare me. Um, let's go to this. Actually, before we go to my one of my favorite geldings, um, I haven't even looked through all the geldings yet. These are all ones I haven't even looked through. Um, let's go to eight. Is a gelding that I definitely wouldn't bid on. Oh wait, this isn't the one I'm thinking of. But oh, here we go. I found her different horse 91 so this would definitely not be one I bid on because well she's big ish she's on the bigger side of the mares I kind of like how she's put together um, she's very frantic and she's definitely looking for a way out um, and she definitely tries to get up and over those panels and then before the video cuts out, um, it looks like she's about to try again. So that one definitely looks like one that was determined to get over the panels. Um, which is, you know, if you have solid fencing, which I do, mine meets the requirements, but I just would not be comfortable. Um, because those panels are tall and she almost gets over them her first try. She might have been able to flip over them. Um, I just wouldn't be comfortable adopting this horse. Um, but the black mare, you know, tested the fencing once, realized she couldn't get through, and then um, was okay with that. Whereas this one looks like she was going to test it again before the video cuts out. So this would not be one I'd get, but... The jumping that the black mare did doesn't scare me off. Okay, last one. 192. This one's a giant. I wish there were mares in this auction that were this big. He's almost 16 hands. Um, which is pretty giant for the selection that we have, but I realize it's not giant. Um, to some people and for some breeds but oh my goodness can we talk about the muscle on this horse and the bone he just wow looks like a powerhouse the other thing I have to think about is um, I have to find a horse that I can imagine what they look like um, after a hundred days under saddle and I can tell you that after 100 days of good feed, nutrition, and exercise, this horse is going to be a beefy tank. So um, he would be one that would be very attractive at the auction that happens at the end of the 100 days um, makeover period. So he would be one that would have good uh, resale value and also would have a good opportunity 
of getting into a great home after the auction. So that's what I'm paying attention to as well for these forces. But um, yeah, within the next few days, or next two days, it's two days out from the act auction right now, um, I'll be going through and filling in these gaps of the gellings, just going through and seeing any that might stand out. But my overall plan is to um, bid on lot 71 first. She'll be the first one that I bid on. Um, if I don't get her, I'd probably bid on this Pinto. If I don't get him, I'd be bidding on that Black Mary Light. If I don't get her, I'd be bidding on this um, Bay Horse. And if I don't get any of them, I'll go back through my maybes and see which ones are available in the pool for me to call and ask about getting. But um, anything could happen, so you got to be prepared.